don't know if I'm going to post this on YouTube yet, so if I do, well, I'll be quick to watch in a second. But um, today is day one of my journey. Um, I know a lot of people have different journeys, and you know, they write them down in a journal or they blog them. And I tried all that writing, journal, and blogging, and I love writing, I love the feel, but um, I get tired <laughs> of writing. Um, matter of fact, <laughs> that's just how it is. So I was just like, maybe I should try video blogging. So it's kind of like my video blog. Um, today, um, actually I started on Monday, I went to the gym. I um, guess I should tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Stone Ivy Hewlett. I'm 20 years old. I'll be a junior at LSU this fall. Um, uh, I'm, I'm majoring in broadcast journalism. And um, as you can see, I love broadcast, <laughs> I love news, I love talking in general. Oprah is my idol. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that. But um, weight loss. This is going to be a weight loss journey and a self discovery. I've just been battling weight loss for my whole life. And um, yeah, that's just basically how it is. I've been battling my whole life. Both of my parents, um, I have a very large dad. He's six foot eight. I mean, he's very lean, very in shape. My mom, you know, she's a short, petite woman. She's very in shape too. Um, they tried to help me when I'm little, you know. It's gonna be hard to lose weight when you're older. You don't listen to your parents, da da da. And um, of course, I didn't listen, and here I am. So um, I'm not saying it's for everybody. Everybody should just go off. And if you're overweight, go lose weight. I'm not saying that. If you're happy and content with yourself, then that's fine. I mean, I can't really. Nobody can really change you, but you. And that's what I'm starting to discover. Um, I've tried to lose weight for all the wrong reasons because I don't have a boyfriend. Because it makes my parents happy. My parents will leave me alone. Because maybe I'll. I don't know, become rich and famous if I do actually lose some weight. I've been trying it all my life. And I mean, I know I'm 20 years old, but y'all don't understand how long I've been trying to lose weight. So um, it doesn't work. I've lost weight. I'll fluctuate and go up and down, lose 30 pounds one year, go up 40, lose 30 pounds another year, go up 20. You know, like I go back and forth, back and forth. So um, yeah, I feel like this time I'm actually going to do it. I'm I'm just genuinely not happy with myself. I mean, I do have a lot of things in my life. I'm in a, I go to a great school. I have a great family, very supportive family. I have a car. I don't, I don't have a boyfriend, but I mean, it's, it's just a lot of things I do have. I'm very blessed. I'm very, very blessed beyond measures. And, you know, I never want anybody to think I'm doing this because I feel like, you know, like my life is horrible. I'm not trying to kill myself, none of that. I've never had, I have very good self-esteem. I don't know if that was just instilled for me from my parents. Um, I'm just a very, I'm usually a very happy person on the outside. I mean, I do have a demeanor set or otherwise, but I'm a very happy person on the outside, but um, that's exactly what it is on the outside. And I'm not happy with myself. When I look in the mirror in the morning, I'm not happy. I'm not um, amazed by what I see. I don't know, you know, you should love yourself. I love so many people and so many things. So it should be no, it, it, it shouldn't be, uh, sorry, I think I'm hearing stuff. It shouldn't be a, a question whether you love yourself. It's either you love yourself or you don't. You wake up in the morning, you're so happy you see yourself. I wake up in the morning, I'm just like, uh, I forgot that's how I look. <laughs> you know, it's just, that's how it is. And I know I have a great personality. People have told me this my whole life. You know, you have a great personality. You don't ever change, da 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 all that. But you're such a nice girl. You're such a sweet girl, all that. But if I don't love myself, then none of that stuff really matters, what they say, you know? And that's what I started thinking, you know? It's just like, I guess that gave me comfort for a while. Like, people are like, no, you're fine the way you are, girl. You're not even fat. You're tall, you know? You're, you're supposed to be bigger because you're tall. Who says that? Models are, are skin thin. And tall, you know. So, um, I don't know. I guess that gave me comfort. People telling me that you look fine, girl. Da da da. You're pretty. You know, you're pretty, and um, I like you the way you are. So, I guess that gave me comfort. If somebody else likes me the way I am, then it's okay if I don't. But then I started thinking about the reverse way. If I like the way I am, and then somebody said I don't like the way you are, why should it matter? It's it, it's me and my journey of life. Like, you won't matter in a couple of years. So. Um, I started thinking that way. Why, why do, why am I validating what they're saying instead of what I'm thinking in my own head? So, um, this is going to be my journey. It all sparked up because, um, as I told you, Oprah's my idol and, um, I was watching her, I have her 20th anniversary collection DVDs and I was watching those and she, um, 
she has this one point where um, this five, she's talking about her weight loss, and it's this one point where she says, if your if your outside doesn't if your outside doesn't sh reflect what's inside and all the nice things that are inside, then the nice things don't matter. And at first I was thinking, well, that's shallow. If people just look at you at your outside, but I'm acting like, am I 12? What world am I in? We're in America. People look at you for the outside. That's what they see first. And it makes, I mean, perfect sense. If you see somebody that is nasty and um, gross, like somebody that looks like they haven't took a shower in three years or something, you're not going to invite them in your house. <laughs> to dirty up your house you're not gonna do anything like that and it might not matter as nice of a person they are or kind or courteous as they are in the inside it's not or as you know gentle or something on the inside it's not coming outside of them you know so that's what I started to think like people are perceiving me how I am outside and my outside exterior doesn't really make up for who I am inside and um, yeah so it really hit me and that's when I just knew that this is a self-discovery for me. This is not just about losing weight, about shedding pounds. This is about discovering who I am as a person and discovering who I want to be and who I want to get away from of what people perceive, perceive me as. So um, this is gonna be my little journey. Um, I might actually post this maybe for a day or two just to see if anybody looks at it, but um, it's just really, it was just really a personal video for me and um because i'm gonna look back on this one day and say you know look where, where look where i've come from look at what i did so um just a word to wise if anybody's going to do this with me i mean that would be awesome if people wanted to do this journey with me it would probably make this journey better but um today i'm just going to simply go to the gym and i'm not a stranger to the gym that's another thing i want people to know because i know um a lot of people when you first start working out say whatever your weight is but you haven't worked out a day in your life, when you first start working out, you're gonna drop some weight because you've never worked out in your life. Now, um, I come from a family of athletes, a family of very active people. I've been you know, playing sports since I was way younger. I've been working out with my mom and dad regularly since I've been younger. So when I work out, it doesn't shock my body like that. It's just like, oh yeah, you're back to working out good. You know, in college, you don't work out as much. But um, it doesn't shock my body. Um, probably shocking my body would probably be my eating. I eat very bad. Um, that's just a fact. I eat very bad. I, r I love junk food, of course. I don't really like sweets as much. I love very fatty chips, stuff like that. Um, I do, I eat way, probably, I'm better, better on my portion size, but I probably eat way too much of my portion size a lot of the time. And um, let me think what else. I drink water nonstop. I don't drink anything but water, so. That's a good plus, but when you're eating the food, you know, I just cooked pasta last night, like that's bad. You know, I mean, I'm sure like pasta every night's not bad, but I mean, I cooked it last night. Me and my family ate some, so it's easier when I'm home for the summer doing it, but when I'm away, it's just like, uh. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be day one, um, August 4th, 2010. The time is currently 10.24 a.m. And I'm gonna start this. So, um, I have something else to tell everyone. Um, yeah, and I think day one and step one of this self-discovery for me is just finally admitting it, saying out loud that, you know, like, you're not thick or you're not big. You're just fat. And that's just, that's just the facts. I'm not trying to hurt my feelings. I'm not, I'm past that. I'm so past trying to <laughs> hurt my feelings enough to make myself work out. You know, maybe if I hurt myself enough. I want to work. No, it doesn't work. I'm hurting myself in the end, and that's all it's doing. So, um, yeah, this is day one. I think you have to get past that. Say it to yourself that uh, I want to be healthier. I'm scared to death of pills. I hate going to the doctor. I hate getting shots. I don't want anything like that at all. At all. I don't want to get sick. I don't want diabetes. I don't want high cholesterol. I don't want to have a heart attack. I want to be healthy. I'm 20 years old. I want to live for another, I don't know, 80 years. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want my life to end short because of what I put in my mouth. That's basically what uh, it all boils down to. So, I'm um, going to go to the gym. Um, when I come back, I guess I'll have a lunch. And I might do another video later this evening. Um, probably.
probably do some sit-ups tonight. But tonight, really, what I'm going to do, I'm at the gym. All I'm going to do is some cardio. I'm going to get on elliptical core for probably 45 minutes. Elliptical core is just a machine with your arms and your legs working. And then I'll probably do some sit-ups. I usually do arms also, like arms that work like the back of my arms right here and then my back because right up here where my bra is, I have a lot of fat and it's just like hangs there and it's so gross when it hangs over my bra. So I'll probably do some of that and um, I was going to do some of that, but I yesterday I went to the doctor, I had to get four shots for meningitis and all that because I can't find my shot worker. So um, my arms are a little sore, so I don't know if I'm going to have all that to do, but I'm going to try. And um, I just really thank you for watching this. I don't know if it's inspiring you or, I mean, that's what I really want to do. I want to inspire people because we really are the fattest country in America. And, um, you know, some people want to blame it on your thyroid. And if you have a thyroid, hey, you do have a problem. Like, that's, that's serious, you know. Go to the doctor, get help. But I can't blame it on anything. I'm not blaming it on my parents, how they cook, no. I'm not blaming it on genetics. I have bigger people in my family, but I'm probably the biggest. So uh, I'm not blaming it on any of that. I'm blaming it on myself. Because that's who the blame falls on. Falls on me and my eating habits and not wanting to take care of myself. And so now I'm finally taking a stand to take care of myself and um, for myself. And that's the biggest thing. I'm taking care of me for me and not for anybody else or because I think it's going to bring something else or somebody else in my life or something. So um, that's about it. I'm really excited. Um, won't I be again? Um, this is my first video I've ever made on YouTube, so I don't really have any extra videos. I'm going to make like a profile later that you can look at. One for you. Um, yep, and that's awesome. I guess I should stand up so you can see my whole body, so you can see where I started from. Let me put the camera over here so I can stand up. And this is me. This is, this is me. I'm five foot nine. Five foot nine and a half, five ten, and um, I'm just not at that point, but I'm ready to tell my weight yet. I don't even like saying it out loud to myself, and that's probably something that I have to tackle later in this journey. But um, yes, um, that's me, and um, this is day one. Here goes my journey. Thank you.